what's up guys? We're here at Gregory Lake for the Water Lantern Festival and we're super pumped because this is our very first time going to the Lantern Festival. Like we see it on the uh, Facebook all the time but we never got a chance to go. So the way in here was so scary. It's kind of like if you ever been to Maui and you ever been to Hannah World, it was kind of like that, really scary. So I'm really glad the P was driving and not me. So we're passing by the beautiful lake right here. And supposedly there's a parking lot that you're supposed to park in and there'll be a shuttle to take you to the event but my phone has no signal so we couldn't find a parking lot so we just parked along the road and um, we have to do a really long walk to get to the event So it's gonna be really hard to find a spot now, but wow, this is so cool. Like they have tiki torches all over the places. And everyone's just chilling on their blankets. We brought um, a beach mat. able to find a spot right by the waterfront so we actually came from the other side and we had to walk like all around the lake and finally we found a spot 
So this is really cool. We have like a what a fun spot. right now and the gates open at uh, 6 o'clock so we're kind of two hours behind and if you look around everyone already finished decorating their lantern so we're hungry we need to eat and we also have to um, hurry up and finish decorating the lantern so let's get to it let's find out what's in this bag here I guess this is the lantern here, so you have to assemble it, decorate, and then assemble. And there's a tea light candle. It's not even a real candle, but I guess that's a lot safer. It's not as cool, but it is safer. So none of the lantern would go on fire. And then you get only one marker. I can't believe they give you only one marker. I mean, at the price that they're charging us, you would think that they could give you at least a dozen of markers. But it's okay because um, I bought my own. Somebody's flying a drone up there. design our lanterns right now and it's really really dark but we'll see what we could do. How's yours coming along? Wow. So they were supposed to do the lantern launch at 9 30. That was on schedule but now we moved it over to 9 o'clock so we didn't have enough time to design. So people are already launching the lanterns we are here to celebrate life, love, remembrance, unity, and peace. Take a deep breath. You are alive. Take a moment to express gratitude for the life you have. The human being you are, the unique traits you possess, and the love you share that makes this world a better place. You are alive. Take a deep breath. Think of those closest to you. What difference have they made in your life? one world. We believe that life is truly beautiful. Should I put in the candle first? Uh -huh. <laughs> we are excited to share this magical experience. Lots of people are here for a lot of good reasons. Thank you for everyone that just came up. I'm thankful for everyone who just shared an awesome message. Hope everybody can take something from tonight. Remember to everyone who passed away, we thank everyone for being here. Just remember to be respectful, be positive, love each other, and have a great night. Thank you. Okay, so this is the
contemplate or lie down and focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. from all over the places and they actually end up right there, that corner. So yeah, if it seems to you like there's not a lot of lanterns, it's because the moment you put the lantern into the water, the, the wind and the water current just carry it away. So like, instead of gathering in the middle of the lake, it just got pushed to um, the other side of the lake. So if you haven't watched your water lantern, please make sure you head down and do so. Thank you. You guys see this super long line right here? Well, apparently it's the line to take the shuttle back to um, the parking lot. So I guess it's a good thing that we didn't actually park in one of those designated parking lots. So we don't need to take the shuttle. Okay, guys. That's it for the day. So it was a very fun event. We heard a lot of um, moving stories from other people. And I'm glad they have a chance to come here and share the love with everyone. And um, the one thing that would make this experience better for us is had they started like earlier in the day, it would be much better because there wasn't a lot of time for you to like enjoy all the food and have fun with the music and everything before uh, the night falls. We didn't have much time to enjoy everything else before the launch of the lantern so hopefully next year they'll start the event earlier in the day. Okay guys, until next time, bye!